Um, something, something that Requiem loves to use a lot is the dash back out of his aerials. Um, if you can punish those, uh, you just have to call them out. And if you call them out and he doesn't do them, then you're kind of in a bad place, so there is like that trick. Um, but Giuseppe can be safe in the knowledge that Requiem likes to use it a lot. Yeah. And I would wonder, is is Falco Marth Giuseppe's best matchup? Because he's roommates with Kazumi, yeah, right? Uh, like, they don't, uh, I don't know how to explain this. They don't play very often. Okay. They're roommates, but like they just don't play very often. Because um, yeah. we saw what a three three zero from Giuseppe or a two zero was a three zero on Giuseppe and Kazumi. Yeah. Oh, I don't agree with that. Uh, up there. Should have definitely been on the Ooh, That's I like his laser spacing. Yeah. That oh. was beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Woo! Gets dumpster. Yeah, just, that was just really nice on Giuseppe's part. Giuseppe dropping that punch. Could have gotten a lot more off that shine. Yeah. He failed to convert, but what you gonna do? Yeah. Oh. Martha's that definitely... That was a little bit overzealous. Yeah, Martha's definitely one of those characters that Falco can just punish so hard. But it goes both ways. <laughs> it definitely does. My fair play. I, I feel like Giuseppe's neutral has gotten a ton better yeah, in the last agree. couple months. I agree. Um, yeah. That was the scary part where you have to like kind of chase Falco. <laughs> yeah. Chasing Falco when he's on platforms is actually hella scary because you have to deal with down air a lot. You have to be ready to smash the high down air coming down on you any second. Yeah. That was a really good. I don't know if that was a shit poke or it was just a call out. So that was a good ledge stall, keeping his invincibility up. Oh, oh, that's actually such a hard yeah. forward smash to hit. Really good from Requiem. Yeah, and Requiem's keeping it close. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like I said, I think he's definitely like an up and comer. Definitely really good. Definitely contender for this uh, for next week's uh, Arcadian. Oh yeah, is he going? Yeah, he is. Um, he's got to beat me first. Yeah, dude. <laughs> that was sick. And before that, he's got to beat Giuseppe. <laughs> is Giuseppe going then too? <laughs> Probably. Probably. All right. Should be a good Arcadian next week. Where's Where's that? Game Tyrant. Game Tyrant yeah. in uh, North, North Salt Lake. Lake. Okay. We're going to FD. I like this pick. Um, I have yet to see Requiem's ability to. Oh, never mind. We're good. Um, I actually played him on FD, and he three stocked me, but <laughs> but I don't think that it was because he was chain grabbing very well. If that makes sense, he just kind of marked me. Yeah. Um, I'm also just not very good at the game. <laughs> that um, was the most perfect percent to get that forward smash. Yeah. When you're at that percent, if you like, ooh, if you get up thrown at that percent, you should get forward smashed every single time and die. He's got really good dash attacks to put like space animals into knockdown, which yeah. is actually pretty important. You'll see that a lot from like 50-50 uh, players like Mitsuki, who will uh, kind of just like um, make a guess as to whether or not you're going to go in or go out. And if he gets that dash attack, he puts you into hard knockdown and then you get- Oh no! That's oh. bullshit! Sakurai, why? That was a good mix-up from Giuseppe getting back. He needs. Uh, yeah, he's just been stuck in a corner. For oh wow! So long. Oh no! Oh, messes up. Messes up his dash. I don't think I've ever actually seen Giuseppe like ledge dash. <laughs> so yeah, he's making the attempts, but he he's definitely the the double laser. <laughs> that 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 is a Giuseppe. A Giuseppe. Wow, that was such a good mix-up. Um, he wasn't confident in his ability to get the team grab anymore, and so he went for a down throw into a guaranteed tip. Yeah, and that's kind of what I mean by, like, he wasn't super convincing with his chain grabs, but he did oh, play no. it well. Oh no! Oh no! Oh! Ooh, he almost got that down there. That would have been sick. That would have been sick. Marth killer. People need to use my killer. I need oh, to use my killer. I cannot believe you missed that down there. It doesn't really matter, but uh, yeah. Surprised you didn't shine out that. What's up? Ah! Ah! We're stuck. I'm trying. Who just yelled at me? 
Ooh, I can't believe he went straight through. That was so ballsy. I would never have gone straight there. It's just barely out of the tip range. Tip range. Yeah. Ooh, that grab. Still living though. Oh, the straight down angle. Super hard to cover for that uh, from that position from Mark. Seven so needs to clean up the stock. I don't know, man. It, it feels like Giuseppe like lost a lot of the momentum he made from game one. Uh, I feel like Giuseppe's made a lot of uh, tech floats, actually, uh, compared to the the last couple games. I definitely agree with you. Is it one zero, right? It is one zero. All right, good way to clean that up. Giuseppe can still definitely do this. Uh, I mean, just as much as Marth, just as much as Marth is good on this stage, Falco's also really good on this stage. Because you, you can just use those lasers so well. Yeah, lasers control so much space, and there's not a lot of to get up. Get up. Yeah, and it doesn't and Marth is combo food for for Falco. Yeah, they definitely they definitely kill each other pretty pretty well, pretty oh. effectively. This game's close though, dude. This is way close. Because it's to the point where he's almost a, he's almost getting Marthritis here. Ooh, nope, that should be it, right? Yeah. Alright, so 1-1. One, one. So my prediction's dead. Let's see if yours comes comes to light. I don't know, homie. What? Oh yeah, he's a, he's a player from Orem. He's pretty good. He's from Florida? He lives in Orem. Sorry, that's what I mean. He lived in Florida. Moved to, moved to Orem. So this is the obvious counter pick for Falco. Like, yeah, this yeah, stage Marth is has a harder so time good. He get he gets more arthritis. He gets a uh, yeah. Has a harder time comboing. The platforms are amazing for Falco. Like, if he's got a third platform to jump around on, he's got space for lasers. It's just this is like the one stage that's really strong in Falco's favor. We got, we got Swifty, aka Chow, <laughs> aka Baby Sabi. All right, so have you been watching this game at all? Yeah. Okay. So Giuseppe's kind of taking away on this stage, which is kind of expected. Yeah. Um, it's definitely a Falco stage, just like FD is definitely a Marsh stage. And I think based on how. How well Giuseppe did on the blood stage compared to how well Requiem was doing on the Falco stage. Yeah. You kind of tell that it's a little bit in favor of Giuseppe. Yeah. Um, I feel like in game one, um, Requiem, Requiem actually, that's, that's little, Requiem was actually behind almost as much in game one as he was here, and then ended up going to last stock. So. I, I feel like, so when I was playing Requiem, I feel like he doesn't really panic, which is a good thing to have. Um, it didn't feel like I was up pretty far in one stock, and he just played calm, and came back, and won that, that set. Like, he did that to me twice, I think, actually. So I imagine he's a pretty calm player. Um, he's sitting there bobbing his head. Yeah, he doesn't seem to. doesn't seem too flustered by getting killed. Um, so it's 1 1 right now. Uh, Giuseppe's counter pick. He won the first stage. Ooh. 
Yeah. Uh, one thing that I feel like Josepi was doing more of in the first game was lasering. And I don't know if he just like stopped lasering, why he started stopped lasering. Um, I wonder if he kind of went into autopilot mode or something. He could have punished out of that so hard. Ooh, that was a stick up. Yeah, that was, that was good. Uh, yeah, Giuseppe definitely could have punished off that dash tag, though. Oh, the double dunk. Alright, so Giuseppe up 2-1. That was, I'd say that was pretty convincing. Um, I, that's kind of how I expected it to go, though. Uh, it being Dreamland and Mars first stage. Yeah. Where, where, does, where does he take him? Can't take him to FD. Found a dream. Yep. I, I think that's I think it's on our stage. Yeah, not bad. The, the um, platforms aren't uh, static, so that can kind of mess up how it goes. Yeah. It makes it a little bit harder for the timings. Um, so Giuseppe won on Battlefield and Dreamland. Yeah. Where does he... So if, if, jo if Giuseppe loses this one, where does he go? Because he can't go back to Dreamland. He can go Pokemon... Yoshi's. But Yoshi's is kind of a, it's like a huge gamble, honestly. Yeah. Because Yoshi's, you could get, like, some sick stuff going, and and then you could just get tipped. And yeah. then off the side of, like, 50, so. Yeah. And, and the platforms are really actually pretty good for Mark. Yeah. Um, if it was me, I'd probably go Pokemon. Yeah, I think Pokemon would be the right choice, but. This game's looking closer than the last one, at least to start. Yeah. Giuseppe is looking clean right now. Oh, wow. Ooh. He likes just walking. Oh, he can hear it. He's walking up and jabbing. Walking up, or like, walking past me like forward smash a lot. Yeah. Forward smash is a lot for, um, for how well he's doing. I don't know. Oh, that's good. That's good. Nice fast fall. Ooh, that was a nice tipper though. 40% on the edge. I feel like the reason Giuseppe died there was he was actually just caught in the corner a little too much. Um, yeah, uh, Requiem hit him with a nice uh, tech trap where he did the up throws and then he mixed in the down throw real quick. So he's not ready to tech it because he's expecting another up throw. It's a good setup. Uh, Alright, Giuseppe evening it up, maybe? Ooh, that was that was good on Giuseppe. His awareness that he couldn't actually get back on the ledge. Could have refreshed his ability a little bit better, I think. Yeah, definitely could have done it better. But good awareness to realize yeah. that he messed up. Because uh, I think that could have ended up really bad. That was a sweet grab. Nice I, I'm liking these lasers. Getting more stuck in the corner, giving him ledge every. Yeah. Time. Oh, just blood killer or like. Oh no. Down and up. Alright, back. Yeah, I feel like... Oh no. It's the second time this set, actually. Ooh! Nice, just raw forward smash. Right in the face. So, this could be... Permit stock for... Requiem right here. Yeah, we'll see if it's a prediction right here, or... Ooh! Oh! oh. So was, beautiful! That was good. He did that, I think, three nice. times this set? Yeah, that was, that was really nice. good. Nice. 